Hi, I'm Jody Schwann, the founder and publisher of Sioux Falls Business. Welcome to another edition of Talent Thursday. I don't know about you, I, I kind of already am in holiday weekend, long weekend mode, um, which makes this conversation perfect uh, because frankly, I get to catch up with a couple of friends, um, our, our partners over at the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, um, led by Denise Gazetta, Vice President of Talent and Workforce Development. Of course, she and I co-host Talent Thursday and enjoy doing that nearly every week. And Denise has booked a a terrific guest who I have not caught up with in a while. So um, another great choice, Denise. Thank you. Um, why don't you go ahead and introduce her? Absolutely. Um, we welcome today Kristen Cook. So many of us know her in the baking industry. And so she's going to kind of tell us a little bit about what's been up for the last 10 months and, and talk about some home projects and some kids and school and all kinds of things. So uh, Kristen gets to spend a lot of time at home, as you will um, conclude here, by choice, um, which is super interesting because I don't think we've actually highlighted um, someone on Talent Thursday before who lives in Sioux Falls and is fully remote um, for a really powerhouse company, um, and she is. So, hi, Kristen. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Thank you so much, Jody. Nice to be here, and thank you again, Denise, for the invitation. Absolutely. Yeah. You did not start out in this role, and I should say that Kristen works um, in internal communications for Citizens Bank, and she'll talk more about that, but um, I met you when you were kind of coming up through a, a marketing and then a banking career here in Sioux Falls. Um, tell me a little bit about the path. Are you from here originally, and, and how did you get where you are today? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, golly, I can't, but like original path was nonprofit pub public relations right out of college. Uh, which is what my degree was in, and then uh, I should say here in Sioux Falls. So I uh, started that, that role for a couple of years, um, then moved into uh, the private sector, and I did uh, event coordinating for a local um, ad agency here, and then um, I kind of got my big break uh, in 2015 when um, I was so fortunate to be hired by Metabank. Uh, so I was hired at Meta to be their marketing coordinator, um, and it became pretty evident uh, within a year uh, in that role that they had a desperate need for uh, strategic communication. So um, yeah, for those in, our, in the Sioux Falls area who are very familiar with Meta, but they went through some amazing M&A activity uh, and started acquiring companies, um, kind of broadening their footprint from regional to national. So we had, uh, or <laughs> they had employees in all four time zones um, and all over the country. So um, getting, getting a strategic communication and employee communication strategy stood up was what I spent uh, several years doing for Meta um, through the pandemic um, and into the first part of last year. Well, and such a great variety of experience, which I'd like to highlight that because sometimes, you know, people still believe that your first job is going to be your final job or your first employer is your only employer. That's so not the case. Um, and from Sioux Falls, it seems like you were really able to find a lot of different opportunities and grow along the way. I was. So uh, around the beginning of 2021, I started looking for my next opportunity. Um, the pandemic, um, as tragic as it has been, uh, really opened up the world of remote work. So I started looking for employee communication roles all over the country, um, really wanting to stay in banking. I have a heart for banking, um, especially uh, employees in banking. So um, I I set my LinkedIn filters to deliver me jobs every week uh, in banking and employee communication. And this one came up uh, to work with Citizens, which, you know, I'm a baseball fan. So the most I had heard of Citizens was Citizens Bank Park, uh, which is where the Philadelphia Phillies play. Um, but beyond that, because they don't have a physical footprint here uh, in our region, that was kind of the, that was it as far as what I knew of Citizens. So um, I hit the ground running late July um, and it has been an incredible experience. Um, I can't speak enough about the culture. Um, it's, it's not what I expected when I went, when I thought about going to work for one of the biggest banks in this country, um, but I will set, say that they absolutely uh, walk the talk when they talk about um, wanting their employees to bring their whole selves to work. Um, and things that are important to me is they were winning uh, DE and I awards before it was cool or before it was necessary, I should say, for a good for a good brand to have that kind of thing. Um, and they prioritize employees over everything. And it flows through uh, their customer experience scores and their balance sheet even and um, their stock price. So I, I see it from end to end. Um, Citizens really is the real deal. 
I think it's so interesting that your role actually involves internal communications, right? And yet you're fully remote. So you're yes. or maybe not face-to-face -face with people. What does a typical day look like for you? And, and how are you able to do your job remotely? That's such a great question. And when I took this job last year, that was something that I wanted to make sure that um, I lowered as many silos and I um, jumped as many fences early on as possible because that I think that was a huge um, advantage that I had in my last role was that I was the connector. I knew who everyone was and if someone needed something, I was able to connect them. Going and working at a new job, that's not what you get. You get to start over from ground zero. So I met as many people as I could uh, in the first three months that I was at the company. Um, I make it a point to uh, you know, link with other people on LinkedIn that I see work at my company. There's 18,000 employees. So it's, it's a big, it's a big company. And I want to make sure, Jody, to your point, as an employee communicator, I want to make sure I know my audience. And so I do that through exactly what we're doing right now. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of FaceTime. It's a lot of WebEx video, Zoom calls, um, and just getting to know people. And so um, I learn what makes them tick. And we do a lot of um, employee engagement surveys and I'm able to gather data that way. But I mean, it's old school. It's still just meeting people. And sometimes like it's how we would typically do it, you know, pre-pandemic is just like over a cup of coffee. I do it just like this. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes I have coffee, so. <laughs> What are some of the things that are standing out to you, Denise, as you listen to her speak about her employee experience, first of all? Well, so I, I peeked up. So the, the interest is internal communication. So focusing in on your own employee base, making sure that they feel valued, respected, appreciated, heard, um, because that's really, that's, that's a best talent retention, but it also helps attract more people. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about this is I was reading yesterday some of the labor statistics and we were looking at these 11 million jobs that are unfilled, right? And, and looking at if we could just re-engage and pull back into the marketplace, those people that have left kind of permanently, they're of working age, but they're not part of our labor participation rate. They're not actively looking or actively working. And so we were, we could be able to save, you know, solve some of our own issues um, as far as these jobs that we haven't filled, if we can tap into that. And so, if you take this model that Kristen is talking about and you apply it and you really think, how can I communicate externally about the things we do? Mm -hmm. um, what we do and we help our employees, we come alongside of them. We expect another thing she said, to bring your whole self to work. Um, that's extraordinary. And that's exactly, um, you're gonna see this more and more. It's, it's gonna become routine and very traditional um, with the way people look at their employees and the way we engage. From here on Kristen, uh, Kristen, help Sioux Falls employers understand what this has looked like um, within the context of Citizens Bank, because I feel like there are experiences that you, uh, as a mom, um, particularly, yeah. have had that might be kind of interesting um, for businesses yeah. here to hear about. I'll speak to a couple that happened just in the last three months. So one, um, I live and work in Sioux Falls, um, even though my company is headquartered on the East Coast, but uh, my daycare called, I was in the middle of a team meeting a lot like this. My daycare called, I put myself on mute. I, like People saw me on my phone and they were like, your son just threw up. And I was like, oh, okay. I literally like hung up the video call. I didn't have to like say, sorry. I didn't even interrupt to say, sorry, team. I got to go. I like text someone on the meeting on my way out the door and like no one, it was not a problem in the least. In fact, I got probably three emails that day saying, I hope he's okay. And so like, it's that work-life balance that um, I think a lot of people think, well, in remote work, like you're working all the time because you're in your house I have a very, I have a, I have a boundary to make sure that doesn't happen, but I work for a company who values the fact that I like, they value that I'm a mom. They don't just value that they get me from eight to five every day. They value my whole self. And part of that is being a mom. The other thing, um, my husband and I just recently, and this was more, not more exciting for him, but it was definitely needed for him. He works at Avera. So he um, has hadn't had a good hearty uh, PTO since the beginning of the pandemic. So we got away to Oahu um, earlier this month and it was 
the first time he and I got to disconnect fully, like we put our email app on our phones at like the back of our home screen. So you had to swipe all the way to the end. Um, we were very disciplined about disconnecting and my coworkers were so respective of that. Like they, I might've been on a, a string, but they like made sure to say like, we've got this while you're gone. And so it's those kind of things that let your employees, um, like I said, bring your whole selves to work, feel, you know, psychologically safe, let them do their best work while they're at work, um, and really create a loyalty. I know that retention is so important right now in workforce development. And so, um, like when I started citizens, I would meet people my age who have said that they worked there for 10 plus years. I'm like, that's weird. Like, I don't meet people that have my age that have worked places right. for 10 years. And now I get it. Like I'm understanding, like I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. So I, that's, those are just a couple anecdotes mm -hmm. for yeah. as far as work life balance. Yeah, yeah. That's walking the walk. And that's walking the walk. And I think it's so, it's important to emphasize it, it's the component of your wellness, your financial health. She mm -hmm. talked about, Kristen was talking about psychological safety, all of these things. I mean, this is Jody. you know, we talk about this, and we've had a lot of guests on that have great cultures and they talk about how they care for their employees. This is really the response because you have a new generation that's entering the workforce. Okay. They're bringing these really powerful skills. Um, but, but overall we have to recognize that people are staying in the workforce longer. Right. And so how do we have sort of the best of everything? Well, you're creating this Place where people can be successful long term, where you can really retain somebody. Um, you know, the statistic when I was coming out of college is you're going to have eight to 10 jobs. I mean, that's it. Um, so I think about that. And, you know, I think about how, how many, am I above the average, below the average? But that's exactly what everyone's trying to beat. And, and a lot of those statistics were always built on the fact that there was no changes where we were looking at employees different. It's, it's no longer 2009 where you have you know, a lot of employees um, are more people that are looking for work than than openings. It's the opposite. So that's why I love hearing these stories. Um, it just re reconfirms and re uh, affirms everything that we've been hearing about how businesses really are respecting and valuing their employees. Now, I want to speak to those watching um, who might be considering remote work, um, specifically about Sioux Falls, because clearly Kristen can work from anywhere. Um, and her husband works in healthcare. There are a lot of healthcare jobs out there. Um, I know you have family connections, but beyond that, you know, what keeps you in Sioux Falls and what makes Sioux Falls a good place to be a remote worker? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, well, and this is so, I mean, I grew up here, so it's home, but I think a big reason why we stay here, I mean, you think of, I mean, it's, it's tactical things like cost of living or just the, um, the life, just the value that I can give my children as far as their education. Um, and I mean, even our faith community is here. So I, I don't, <laughs> it's so funny. I, I don't see any reason why we would leave. So, um, it, you know, um, my husband and I have talked over the years, if, you know, if he gets recruited somewhere, would we leave? And we, there are very few instances where we consider it. And now that you're right, I can work from anywhere. And it's, it's, it's not just his job. It is all those things that I mentioned, like this very strong network. Um, we have a safe community who, um, are just, are so supportive of each other. And I'm proud. I'm so proud to be from Sioux Falls. So I think that that's a, big reason why, why we stay. And, and Jody, you're from the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast. Whenever I talk to my friends and family back home, they always say, gosh, you guys have it so wonderful. And we really do because we have a wonderful governor, a wonderful mayor, and, and really we're hearing more and more where these things, you know, community, uh, faith, having your kids in good schools, right? All of this stuff is so important and it's amazing. So if you're like Kristen and you want to work remotely for another company, you can always come here. So just give me Absolutely. a Absolutely. It's incredible. I tell people, you know, um, and <laughs> maybe this isn't the best like workforce development message, but at the same time, um, it, you can stay in Sioux Falls and work anywhere. I mean, you can do the same thing I did and put a, put a filter on your LinkedIn jobs and stay, stay in a city you love and, and work for a great company. So 
Not that there aren't great companies in Sioux Falls because we, and, we all know there are. And build up that skill set and that resume because who knows? I mean, you know, you love where you're at today, but if the right opportunity opened up locally, you, you've now done that, had that broader experience and there's tons and tons of value in that too. So. You're so right. Absolutely. And I think, I think about that all the time. I, I think about bringing the skills that I'm, I'm harnessing it, um, working remotely and at, at a big bank back home, back home. So if you are uh, considering Sioux Falls in any capacity, um, you know, maybe it's your family, maybe one person as in this family works remote and the other one um, really enjoys a job here in Sioux Falls, Denise and her team can get you connected there. What do they need to do, Denise? Just reach out to me at Denise G at SiouxFalls.com and I will help you. I mean, we do a lot of work with the college students. We have over 300 collegiate uh, partners. Um, so we do a lot of work with students. Uh, I get a lot of uh, calls from people that have relatives that are looking to bring them back here. And so um, just know that we're accessible and we're here to really help you. So and college students, Falls.com. College students, if you're looking at remote jobs too, and you're like, well, where am I going to work, right? Um, sure. Absolutely. Consider yeah. Sioux Falls. You're going to be able to eventually find that first house. Um, you're going to have uh, an apartment you like, a downtown that you love, um, and, and just so many good opportunities here to grow as part of a community. Absolutely. All Absolutely. right, um, Kristen, great to see you. Uh, thanks for sharing your perspective with us. And if you uh, would like to know more, obviously reach out directly to Denise, comment here, um, share away if you would like to help others uh, take a look at this video. We would always appreciate that, of course. And we will be back with you next week with another edition of Talent Thursday. In the meantime, have a great holiday weekend. Thanks, everybody. Bye.